Hi everybody, it's Kristen, and today, before just quickly before I get started, I just want to say um, I realized that you know a lush haul in the grand scheme of what's going on in Oklahoma is you know a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> um, so I just want you guys to know that my thoughts and prayers do go out. Um, you know, on Tuesday, which actually is today, so the the tornado just hit last night or yesterday. Um, I had already recorded Topic Tuesday on Sunday, so it wasn't like I was ignoring that. I just, um, it hadn't happened. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to say that my thoughts and prayers do go out to those that are affected by that, whether you have friends or family there, or, God forbid, whether you're there yourself. Um, lots of love and prayers. So, having said that, um, on Instagram yesterday, I asked if you guys wanted to see... A lush haul or if you wanted to see the spring tag well literally the the votes were just about um, down the middle um, I think there were three more votes for the lush haul which is why I'm doing that today but I will absolutely do the spring um, I love spring tag on it'll go up probably on Saturday uh, since you guys were so <laughs> um, so excited to see that too so anyway that's what's gonna go that's what's gonna go on the rest of this week um, and I realized this morning, what a dork, that, you know, it's light outside, so when I'm doing something like this, I can remove myself from the screen uh, because you don't need to worry about, I don't need to worry about color showing up right because I can sit in front of my window. So, here we go. Um, I, I haven't placed a Lush order or purchased anything, I don't think, since I was in Chicago last summer in August. Um, I, there are a couple things from Lush that I really like, and then there are some things that I thought I would go ahead and try out. So, here's what I have for you guys. In case you're wondering where I'm sitting, you can obviously tell I'm in my bedroom, but these are the windows in our bedroom, and there's like a little, in case you see me put something here, there's a little window seat there. Okay, so the first thing is something I've not tried before. I've heard tons of people talk about this. I want to say, um, Nally maybe from Flower Bomb 31 talked about this. I know um, Michelle 1218's talked about this, somebody else just recently as well, but this is the Rose Argon Body Conditioner, and this is not something I would purchase all the time because it is pretty pricey, but I'm excited to try this, and you use the, just like you do, after you wash yourself in the shower or whatever, or bath, or whatever, um, you use this as a conditioner like you would your hair, so <laughs> spit that out, game. Um, okay. Oh, I did get a little sample of something. I don't know what... it's. This says Dark Angels, Miki Light, Work of... Dello, I have no idea. <laughs> so, I don't know. I have to research that a little bit. Um, okay, boring things that I've used before. Well, not boring, but these are my absolute favorite, hands down... And I have to say, I feel like these are getting a little bit smaller as time goes on. But these, I do like how when you order online, by the way, they come all packaged like this. This is the Comforter Bar. Absolutely my favorite of anything that Lush sells is this. Um, and I will get three to four baths out of this, but they sell for like $10.95, which is pricey. I think when I first started buying them, they were maybe $8.95. So in a couple of years, they've, the price has really gone up. So I got two of those. This I tried. This is called Floating Island, and I saw um, Makeup TIA, I think. I think Ashley is her proper name. Um, she was talking about some of her favorite Lush products, and I'll try to remember to link that video below. And she had this in there, and I can't really smell it through there, but she said it was real, um, it was very fruity. There's almond oil in it, sandalwood, which I love sandalwood, so some lemon. This just smells like pure candy. <laughs> I just really enjoy that. Uh, okay, so this is a, called a pop in the bath. It's hard, actually, this is more florally. It's kind of hard for me when they're packaged like this to, to give you some sort of a description. So maybe I'll try to do, as I use these, maybe I'll do kind of bits and pieces of different videos and then put them together in all like a kind of a lush rundown video maybe. Um, but anyway, so this is this is also a bath, a bubble bar, a bubble bar, I think, like that is. I This one I've not tried before. This is Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. I mean, how could it smell bad? That's what I say. 
it's creamy candy. But anyway, so it looks like this. You guys have to let me know if you've used any of these. I'm curious. Then I I ordered, and I've used this one b before. This is a bath bomb. I have three bath bombs. And that's all that I have. Nothing crazy. This is the Butterball. I really like how this, this has ylang ylang oil in it. And I think maybe that's what I like so much in it. I'm not sure. It also says it has citric acid, cocoa butter, and all the rest seem like chemicals. Uh, so anyway, this is the Butterball Bath Bomb. And I really like this when my skin just is feeling like it needs a little um, kick in the pants, uh, added moisture. I really like that, which is a lot. Not as much now, but... Oh, this actually isn't a bath bomb. This is another um, bubble bar. This is Yuzo and Cocoa Bubble Rune. So it's this orange one. Again, I can't smell through the plastic. Either that or my allergies are just so bad. And then I just went, I didn't hear anybody talk about this. I just went out on a limb and tried this. Or am I, maybe Felicia. I don't know. Anyway, this is um, called Dragon's Egg. And this is huge. Like compared to the Butterball, it's much bigger. And I actually feel like the Butterball used to be bigger. Because I think I've used this one before. Of, of these things, I think the only things I've used before is the Butterball and then the Comforter. And everything else, I believe, is new. So, yeah, I can't even tell you much about this because I've never used it before. But it should be fun. So, let me know what you guys, if you guys have used this. I'm curious. So, that is my not really, probably not very exciting Lush haul. I will go ahead, like I said, if you want, as I use some of these things, for sure I will do a review on this. And let you guys know what I think about that. Um, and I've talked about these probably before, but if you're curious about any of the other things, whether I liked them or not, or what I thought they did or didn't do for my skin, let me know and I will absolutely do a little bit of a review for you guys. So, all right. So thank you so much for watching. If you don't want to see what's on my face and if you do, I will run it down quickly for you. Um, today for foundation, hopefully it's while I grab my stuff. Today for foundation, I have still the Bobbi Brown and the MAC Pro Longwear because I, I really do want to use up that MAC Pro Longwear. So uh, it's probably going to take me another month and then I'll be able to go back to the BB Cream and the Rouge Benny Rouge Love Fest. Um, so I have that on. And then for blush today, I received a package from my friend Sandy in um, Paris, Petty. And she sent me this blush in Seduce. It's a cream blush from Ilamasca. So I have that on, and then over top of that, with a really fluffy brush, I put, um, I use a little Dolly Mix, which is right there by MAC. On my eyes today, I pulled out two of my Bare Minerals duos, and I'm curious, um, I'm going to ask this probably in another video too. I have probably six or seven of these now. I'm curious if you guys would like to see a video like I just did with the Bare Minerals High Shine showing each of these on the each of these duos on the eyes so you have to let me know but anyway this one is in the epiphany and I have I believe it's aha the way they do the names on these is a little bit screwy all over the lid which is just a really beautiful shimmery golden taupe and then this is on the outer corner and that is in foreshadow and then I have Mac really as a highlight but to blend the crease I went to the Promise, and used Vow, which is this one right here. As my liner today, I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Brown, which I'm trying to use up, not because I don't like it, but because I may or may not have ordered another Stubborn Brown. <laughs> and then um, the Rimmel Scandalize in the lower waterline. I haven't done a, a nude in the lower waterline for a while. Thought I'd try it out again. Now I have that swatch on my finger. That was not smart. On my lips, I have the Too Faced in um, Fuchsia Shock, which looks like that. I wonder if sitting here white washes out the color. You have to let me know. And that I just kind of dabbed on my lips and then worked it in with my pinky as I do with brights usually. And then as a gloss today, I have the NYX in Juicy Pink. I really like this gloss. I've shown that a lot this spring, I think. All right, that is about it. Oh, and the mascara that I've been using lately and I used for all of my Bare Minerals High Shine most. I think there maybe been, maybe it was one or two days that I used the CoverGirls Professional Super Thick. But otherwise, I've been using the Mally Volume Mascara. And then also, and, and I'll talk about this in my favorites 
little preview. Uh, with the Buxom Lash Mascara. That's my current combo, but we'll talk about that. More of my favorites. So, hope that you guys are having a great week. Again, lots of love and prayers going out to those affected by the tornado in Oklahoma. Um, I, will, I, I promise to keep you in my thoughts and prayers. So, hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!